with Jess episode 6. I'm Jess and this week we're going to be looking at owl pellets. So this is what an owl pellet looks like. I've got five of them here in this bag. Now you might think wow she's holding a bag of poo, she's lost her mind but it isn't poo, these are pellets so the difference is, is that owls when they eat their prey which is things like rodents they eat them whole, they swallow them all in one go once they've caught them but there are certain parts of the rodent that they can't digest so things like the bones from the mice and the voles and also their fur as well, they struggle to digest them so what they do instead is that in their stomachs, in their insides all the fur and all the bones are kind of pushed together in a little pellet and then they regurgitate that pellet and they basically sick it up and wherever they're roosting or sitting and having a rest they'll just sick up their pellet and it'll fall on the ground and then geeks like me come along and pick them up and it's not just owl species that produce pellets as well lots of other birds of prey do it too and from the general size and shape of the pellet you can work out what species it's come from so we get five species of owl in the UK that are found relatively often you have barn owls, tawny owls, long-eared owls short-eared owls and little owls. You do get other visitors now and again, things like snowy owls sometimes come to Scotland and places like that. And so you can tell from the pellet which one of those owls it's come from. And you can also tell what that owl has been eating as well. So you can actually dissect the pellets and you can look at all the little bones inside and you can find out what rodents they've come from and therefore you can kind of guess which owl species has eaten them because some species of owl prefer some species of rodents over others and things like that. And it's not just rodents that they eat, they will also go for things like small birds as well. So if you're out and about and you find an owl pellet, if you want to take it home and dissect it, I would really recommend it because it's really fascinating to see all the tiny little bones inside and sometimes you can almost make whole little skeletons of little rodents. So all you need to do that is something like this, a tray, shallow tray or something that you can put the owl pellet in and then a trusty pair of tweezers so that you can pull out the bones and things. Sometimes it's easier if you make the owl pellet a little bit damp and then it's a little bit easier to pull apart and pull apart all that fur. And I would really recommend it as a good kind of environmental activity for children. It makes them feel like a little nature detective basically and it's uh, something really quite fun to do with little ones and with adults as well. So thank you very much for watching episode 6. If you'd like to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're very welcome to do so and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can like the Facebook page and if you find some owl pellets let me know and tell me what you found inside them as well. That would be fantastic. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time for more What the Heck with Jess.